Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is an exciting one. It is going to be our nursery tour for our baby girl coming in May and also the name reveal. So as soon as I open the door behind me, this is going to be her bedroom. Um, you will see her name and the theme and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so I'm going to do a quick opening thing here when you go into the room. Got your light switches, closet door. The theme is elephants, pink and gray. Um, we have a white dresser, diaper trash can, changing table, window, crib, mobile, her name, Daisy. And um, we have a little side table here that has books and a lamp and then the recliner. So let me go ahead and start back at the right and then we're back at the door. <laughs> let me go ahead and start over here again. So in the closet, just your standard reach in. Um, to our closet. I have separated the clothes in here with these little like disc things that have a size. So everything is kind of filed by what size it is. Um, isn't this cute? Vikings cutie, my husband. Um, but yeah, we have some of the nicer clothes or like new clothes separated like that. And then we have her hair bows. I got this holder off of Amazon. It's marketed as like a jewelry holder. But what it is is you put a hanger at the top and then um, it has little pockets. And you just put all the bows in. And then, um, so yeah, that's what I've done so far. The other side of them actually has this thing. So you can like put something in it and then loop it shut. I don't know what I'll use that for, but maybe as she gets older. Um, then on top, I have different bins here. So I have wipes, nursing, keepsakes, books, and toys. That doesn't have toys anymore. Um, and then we have all the clothes that did not fit in the dresser and were not hung. These are hand-me-downs from her cousins. Three months, three to six months, nine to 12 months. It keeps going. 12 months plus, six to nine months, three to six months. And you can't see over there, but it says three to six. Um, more diapers, things like that. Down below is a hot mess. <laughs> These are leftover things from our baby shower. I gotta figure out where to put them. Um, we got a lot of bo boppy. We got um, more diapers. Those are all diapers and wipes. So that's messy. The only part of the room that's... Here's the other part of the closet. And then um, that's like her um, little play gym thing, play mat. Then we have some stuff that used to be in our guest room closet. The air mattress, the pack and plays back there, high chair. Um, diapers and wipes, things like that. And then the dresser next to it is actually from um, my husband's parents. They had it at their house and they gave it to us. And all I did was take off the white knobs and add pink knobs from Hobby Lobby. Pretty simple fix. My mom found this. <laughs> so cute. Um, my dog is scared of it though. <laughs> I had to wait until the elephant finished playing its little song. But yeah, the dresser, we just changed the knobs on. The painting is from At Home, or Garden Ridge it used to be called. Just a little baby elephant holding like a pink ball. And these lamps are very dim actually. Looks kind of bright right now. And then these my mom got, I don't know where she got them, maybe Amazon, but they actually are little lights, like night lights. And they change colors. Um, actually pretty bright, I have two of them, one on the other side of the room. And then this is a jewelry box, which she doesn't have any jewelry yet, but someday she will. But, uh, but yeah, we'll put some kind of jewelry in there. Then this is our little um, diaper trash can that we have upstairs. It's by Decor. Um, and then the Valance. I bought the fabric myself at Joanne's Fabrics, and then my mom sewed it. Um, just have some mini blinds that were already here. And then this changing table we got at Goodwill. I think it was like 10 bucks. My mom bought it. And then it was dark wood, and we wanted it to be white to match everything, so my mother-in-law um, sanded it and painted it white. Underneath, we have some little storage bins, and these are um, from Walmart. They came in a two-pack. Um, I got two different colors here. Um, the far right one on the top shelf is wipes. Um, middle one is like blankets. Far left is where we're going to put diapers. We haven't opened those packs yet. Um, and then down here, we have burp cloths, and then in the center... Those are like swaddles and swaddle blankets. And then the right side is like 
pacifiers, her nose free to like healthcare type stuff that we just didn't know where else to put. And then um, the changing pad cover. We got the changing pad at Amazon. The pink cover is from Target. It's just a plush light pink, really soft cover. And then this is a waterproof liner. Came in a three pack. I got it Target online. Um, but yeah, we'll change her. And then if we need to, we'll just, we have three of these. We'll just wash it and replace it. The crib here is from Ikea and it has um, two drawers on the bottom and it does convert to the toddler bed and you can raise and lower the bed mattress thing. Um, the mobile is from Amazon and it does turn on and plays music and spins. Well, you get the point. <laughs> and it has little elephants and clouds on it. The decal I actually purchased off of Amazon. Um, you just send them what the name you want it to be in, what colors you want it to be, and they make it. So my mother-in-law and my husband put that up over the crib. So her name will be Daisy Elizabeth Swing. Love that. Um, the sheets are Granimals right now. It's just a pink and gray, like, so you can see my shadow, pink and gray floral um, pattern. We ordered some elephant sheets, but they're not here yet from Amazon. This little elephant my mom gave me, I don't know where she got it, um, but I thought it was cute. We won't, we didn't want to spend our money on things in the bed that she couldn't keep in the bed when she was older, um, or like for SIDS and stuff. So when um, she's old enough, when she starts sleeping in the crib, we'll move that elephant out. That's why it's so bare. I didn't want to spend the money on a big old bedroom set thing for her because she can't sleep with it anyway. Um, the bottom drawer on the right is just hats and the bottom left drawer is shoes. So hats and mittens, shoes and socks. Yes, she has a lot. And no, I didn't buy them all. They were hand-me-downs. And the little stand here is just a two drawer cubby thing. It started, we were gonna put cubbies in it. And then we realized we needed a place to put her books. So at the baby shower, we asked for books instead of a card. So people gave us a bunch of baby books. So she has like 25 books now, I think. Um, pretty great, so we can read in this chair to her at nighttime. So we just put the books in there. And then, um, again, that's another one of those lamps from the other side of the room. Another one of the little um, elephant nightlights. And that is a baby monitor from Samsung next to it. This blanket is a do-it-yourself kit from... Joanne's Fabrics. Um, it was like $10 or $20 and you tie the ends and stuff. No sewing required. So my mother-in-law did that for us and then she covered this pillow with the fabric I bought. Just gray on one side and then the elephant pattern on the other. The recliner is from... The recliner is Ashley Brand. I'll try to link as much of the stuff as I can but it does um, come out from the wall quite a bit so we don't have it right in the corner. I want to be able to nurse in it. We have a Boppy Anna My Breast Friend pillow. I'm planning on exclusively nursing if possible so um, we needed somewhere comfortable for that to happen. We didn't really have anywhere good to put toys in here, and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Like, this whole wall here is blank, and then over here is... Right now I'm standing by the window in the changing table. It's completely blank. The problem is that the recliner needs to be able to recline, so the foot part comes out. So I don't want to put anything there, but as she gets older, we may put, like, some toys over there or shelves or something, but... For now, we just put all of her toys in one of these cubbies in our hall. We have like a little storage thing in our hallway. But so we just put her toys in here. These are like teething things. I haven't like sanitized anything or gotten it ready, but just got a bunch of baby toys ready to be played with. So I'm sitting in the chair now. Very pregnant, very out of breath. Um, so we're not completely done with the nursery. I don't know if we ever will be. And we plan on keeping her in this room for a couple of years and then when we have our second child, whether it's a boy or girl, um, that child's going to get this room because it's the closest to the master bedroom. And so everything that you see, the big pieces, the expensive type stuff, is all white, gray, neutrals, that kind of stuff. So it's easy to change out if it's a boy or we want to change the theme later. Um, I have no decorations on that wall or this wall or right behind me. And I know I want to do some shelves or something, but... We're going to see how this works for now. We do have like a diaper changing station um, that we're going to set up downstairs. We'll put the pack and play and a swing down there. And then we have another swing we'll put in the master bedroom. And we also have a bassinet that she'll sleep next to the master bedroom bed. It's a pretty small room, so we're trying to kind of keep everything realistic. We don't want it to feel crowded. We want her to be able to play on the floor, so we might get like a floor mat or something. But we have carpet in here, so shouldn't be a big deal. Um, but yeah. That is it for our nursery tour and baby name reveal. 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.